Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's continue our Muslim World Conquest for Crusader Kings 2. It's been a long time since I've played this, actually. I took quite a break from it because Europa Universalis had its big patch. So if you are watching this from the playlist, from your perspective, it is, uh, you know, just one video different. But for me, it's like a week or two. So I'm trying to get my bearings straight on what's going on in the map. We've got some... Suminusco uprisings. We've got quite a few wars, but it feels like we're rapidly approaching the end of this campaign here. So, independent states, uh, realm size, largest person in the world outside of us is the Byzantines. That's kind of to be expected. Just have to clean them up a bit. We're sieging something here. We'll probably go on about speed three for now. And, uh, why do I feel like my message settings got reset? They must have. That's okay. It's not really that big of a deal, but it's just kind of strange. Okay, we've got another barony here. The Teutonic Order! Yeah, all my message settings got reset somehow. That's a really irritating situation to be in, but... Alright, I think this army is going to finish up here, and then we'll march it over that way. And then... You're going to march up there. Yep, that's good. You are on your way here. I must have just declared... Yeah, I don't need to know about my vassals creating titles. I don't care about that. Oh god, is he even telling me about battles? Please stop it. Victories, lost... I don't care about any of them. I like the sound effects. One of the things I don't understand is why those sound effects don't exist when you have the pop-ups on. They're quite useful. I know I've talked about it before, but just the ability to know if you're winning based on sound is very useful. A war you were called into ends. Um, yeah, I guess we can keep that on. Titles being usurped, I don't need to know that as a pop-up. Okay, you can now head over to here. You are going to take care of those re rebel guys. You are going to assault this holding here. I feel like we probably have something to assault up here as well. Yes, we do. We are, if I remember correctly, in the truce-breaking stage. Not really going for a, uh, a record or anything, but trying to make it as quick as possible, ish. And this was all Olavid territory, so I think we'll just grant that directly to Mr. Olavid Man. That is retinue, so we don't want to get rid of it. There's very little left for it to do up here, except for maybe march over down here. Not that it needs to be here, my goodness. Okay, so that's already done. This is not a retinue. Get rid of that. What do we still have raised? We got most of them raised. It's hard to tell what was raised and what's retinue, but... Okay, you are almost down there. This retinue is on its way down there to help as well. You are just kind of hanging out in preparation for these conquests. We have no army on its way here, do we? You're going to there. Why don't you instead actually go up this way? I swear, if um, if we have more issues with Turkestan, I'm going to be pretty upset. I feel like we've been at war with Turkestan for decades. They keep on converting on me. Yes, yes indeed. People are converting to our religion. They don't really have much of a choice in the matter, do they? The answer is no. No, they do not have a choice in the matter. It's not a question. It's a demand. I demand that you embrace my faith. You know, I've played so much EU4 recently that I am just thrilled to not have to deal with Shadow Retreat mechanics. It's just the ability to just kill an army in two provinces. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, and every time I play this game, and every time I play EU4, it's like there's certain things about both that I love. 
I feel like this one's not something I usually had. I don't think I need that pop up. We'll still get it in the high priority tab, but. But you actually head down towards that. We don't need both of them here. That being said, Crusader Kings 2 doesn't have its, uh. It, it does have its own problems, but. Get you in position down there. This is going to be Umayyad territory, who have embraced the blue, the French colors. So, rebellion, 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 rebellion. Not rebellions. We're at war with the Kingdom of Denmark. Interesting. I guess he's got... Oh, yeah, he's got one of these holdings here. Very strange. Denmark, you don't belong over here. Oh, and we just died at age 72. Yay for not having a stability drop. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we just won a couple wars. We can pick up... We're already at 600 prestige, and we'll give some territory to Olavid. This is the only possible time. And look at this. Sultan of Arabia already at 100. He's content. So Persia, also known as... Taharid wants some land. We'll make sure that we assault and give him some territory. We'll we'll have everyone back up to 100 in no time at all. But I'm just going to keep giving out land like we would normally. You are all of it. You get this thing. You get Krakow as well. Okay. Um, how about you guys head up to there. You guys can head over to here. And you can head over to Ruthenia. Actually, you were going to take care of these peasants, weren't you? Yeah. You are a retinue. I don't see a good location for you. Let's send you over here. Was this a retinue? It's not. Okay, get rid of it then. That is a retinue. Retinue? Not a retinue. These are retinue. Retinue. We have no army to raise there, which means that the retinue, or sorry, the, the levy is raised somewhere else. So we've got Tyrids a little bit upset. We are 55 upon taking over, and we're decadent. Do we cause decadence, I wonder? I am causing decadence because I am the head of the dynasty. Awesome. Can I, can I do nothing to get rid of my own decadence? We can welcome the Jews. That's fun. We can embrace a school. Wow, we're 55 and we haven't embraced a school. That's awesome. We're not going to do it. Suggest so a fatwa. Go on a ha We haven't even gone on a Hajj to Mecca. This poor character. He's done nothing. Let's welcome and ex borrow and expel the Jews. Oh, we're not allowed to expel them. That's fine. We'll take on a mission. I don't really remember particularly choosing this character. We could go up to a higher crown authority, but I don't really think it's necessary. There's nothing they can really... Yeah. We'll keep the levies low. Although at this point, it is really clean up. And then my vassals haven't really declared many wars on their own. We have another uprising. I do not need that double pop-up, but... Unfortunately, there's no way to isolate that pop-up from all other war declarations. Sure, you can marry my courtier. Muslim Assault Simulator 2014. Okay, so that was this one, which is definitely Taharid, which would be good to give him some land, because he'll he'll be quite happy with us over that. Takes him all the way up to 77 already. Let's get you up here. Are you a retinue? No, you are not. So we'll just stand him down.
I feel like the, um, it's easier if you have lower crown law, or sorry, lower tax, like ICTA taxation, or not tax taxation, sorry, ICTA levies, so that your vassals will take care of some rebellions, but it feels like they're not really doing it anymore. So I'm considering just raising it back up again. Sure, get him educated by somebody, why not? Why not? Are we still causing decadence, or is that... Yeah, we are, that's awesome. Cool. We're so decadent. I'm pretty sure we can conquer the world despite the fact that decadence is going a little bit crazy. Monthly decadence gain 3.39%. So you're telling me that we're going to gain like 40 a year? That's that's cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure we only have Yep. Nope, we've got Tahirid still raised. Why don't you go here? I mean, if the, if the vassals aren't going to actually help with defending, then... We might as well. I think we can probably wrap this war up a little bit quicker if we just go and fight that army. Ooh, we have an organizer. How amazing. Still not fast enough to actually get that army. Oh well, it is what it is. Nice job, Tahrid man. He's trying. Yeah, okay, well if he's gonna put him down, then I'll, I'll let him keep his troops. Probably would be easier than trying to control every single fight, but the fights are gonna become less and less frequent soon. So we now have a thousand prestige, and our five kings pretty much love us. This one, we could just send him some money. I mean, the Sultan of Italy. Costs 700 ducats. Whatever, we'll just get him up to 100. What else are we going to spend the money on, really? I mean, there's no reason to stockpile it. There's very little to be done with it. And are we going to catch you in the next province over, April 1st? Yes, we will. Good. And that is the value, my friends, of an organizer. This should give us quite a bit of war score, I think. We accept your surrender, as always. We're at 10% decadence, because we are decadent. Is there not some method of interacting? Can I interact with myself? Demand that I stop being decadent. How How is this even possible that I can be decadent while being the character? I am the one that's causing the vast majority of the decadence. The whole world is not enough for me. I need more. Revolt, 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 revolt. Not a revolt. You can just tell by the redness of the banner. Revolt banners always have a bunch of red in them. Actually losing this one. Ooh, that's a big army. Oh, look at that! We are an organizer! Let's try getting ourselves killed. So we can stop being decadent. A 
Hajj Rebellion. Hmm. I'm going to try going on a Hajj to Mecca. That might cause us to have an event that will let us stop being decadent. So we're going to get out of these wars. Put them all down. Okay, this is Taharid territory. Yes, of course. So Taharid, I think I just raised... Where, where is the Taharid army? We have an army somewhere that's made out of Taharid troops. Is it you? It is you. Well, you're about to wrap this up. Let's, let's let them kill this final little rebellion here. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and kill each other in a duel. Less decadence. <laughs> They'll stand you down. That wins that war. That means that we can re-raise Taharid down here and take care of this. Gotta take care of both of these. You have to be totally at peace in order to go on the Hajj, just to start it. Once it's started, it's okay if somebody else revolts, but... Man, we're gonna have to chase you to... here, apparently. Or, we could split the army. And just go to both provinces and... Scare him into not running. You can just put these four things down pretty quickly. The monthly decadence gain, 3.4%. Amazing. Is it an Irish? Did I just see an Irish liberation? Hmm. These people don't want my help. They don't want me to convert them. We could try white piecing. Just to just to make the wars go away quicker. You got that one, and then you must be yeah, you're up in Ireland. It's not a big deal. None of these armies matter. Okay, well I'm gonna take a break here. Next video I think we um, wrap up these peasant wars and then we do the Hajj to Mecca very, very quickly so that we can then focus on declaring new wars. Because that's how you win a world conquest, is to conquer the world. That's what we're going to do. Alright, so thanks for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon.